The account testifies that whenever John the Baptist spoke, Herod was perplexed, yet he wished to listen to him. May the peace and joy of Christ be with you today. Today's Gospel, which is taken from St. Mark chapter 6, verses from 40 to 29, has a very sad account of the beheading of St. John the Baptist. The account testifies that whenever John the Baptist spoke, Herod was perplexed, yet he wished to listen to him. And later on it says, that Herod was distressed at the request of the girl. But because of its oath and of the guest, he did not want to break his word. So other than biblical, religious, political factors, there are two important factors that made him do what actually he did not want to do. First of all, he was trying to impress the guest. It is said, in trying to impress the others, you stop being your true self and then you go on doing what you really do not want to do. And this would make you blind to realities. And that will lead you to say empty words and make unrealistic promises and make commitment not meant. And we see that very much in Herod. He was making unrealistic promises in order to impress the guest, to impress his unlawful wife and her daughter. And trying to impress the others involves selfishness and low self-esteem. He wanted to be considered better or even the best. Secondly, the peer pressure. He gave in to the peer pressure. Peer pressure is a great force that tries to influence you to do what you really do not want to do. It will make you something different than what you are. Of course, there are positive pressures too, but very rare. And giving in to peer pressure involves fear. Fear of losing many things, especially the image, the false image and status sometimes created by our own selves and sometimes by the peers. And this one we see very clearly in Herod, in the given incident. Out of his fear of losing his image and status in front of the guest and his wife, he gave orders to have John the Baptist beheaded. How sad. A man of God is killed. The voice that cried out in the wilderness is silenced. The one who was sent to prepare a way for the Messiah is done away with. My dear friend, how often do you try to impress the others? Or how often do you give in to the peer pressures? It is always good to be surrounded by the people who force you to be good, to do good, and to bring best out of yourself. A wise man says, the only pressure I would agree to is my conscience and not to any pure pressures. Because the best pressure and the force is always from within. Let us seek to realize this positive, constructive force and pressure which most often comes from within. Or else we might end up in killing and doing away with many John the Baptist who come into our life, men and women of God. Let us remember what St. Paul's head. I do not the good I wish, but the evil that I do not wish. May the words of Jesus redeem us. Amen.